beautiful people and welcome to your monthly guidance for May 2022 with me, Julie Paul. Thank you for being here. Truly appreciate your time on my channel. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. And if you're new here, I'm Julie Paul, an intuitive hypnotherapist, author, Reiki master teacher. A few other bits. The link to me is in the description box below if you want to know more. There's also a link there if you would like to join the paid membership for my channel, which starts at just 99p. Up to you. The information is down below. So this is good for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross watching. Um, and I also wanted to say before we start, thank you so much for all your beautiful healing and well wishes when I had flu, chest infection in uh, the end of March. I really appreciate that. And also your well wishes for my son's wedding, which went amazingly. My daughter's wedding's coming up in a few weeks time. Hence the extensions in the hair and all the flashy look at the moment. Two children getting married six weeks apart. There with my um, new look. I'm loving it. But anyway, there we go. So without further ado, let's crack on and see what's going on for May 2022. Hello Cancer, welcome to May. Let's see what's going on for you my lovely people. How are you? Are you well? Thank you for being here. All right, what's the main energy here? This is the general information. We're going to get some oracle cards for guidance and we're going to use the other tarot deck to look at money and career. All righty. Two of Wands. Oh nice, Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, Page of Swords, Central Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, Cancer. This is looking lovely. All right, let's see what's coming in from the Unicorns as advice for Cancer for May, please. Open to abundance. Oh, God, this just gets better. And from the angels. Never alone. You've got a lot of spirit and angelic energy around you at the moment, Cancer. And the wisdom of the oracle, please. Chop wood. Okay. Um, let's get these out while we're here. All right, money and career, business. King of coins. Oh, doesn't get much better than that when we're talking about money. Queen of cups. One more, please. Money, career, business for cancer for May, please. And the nine of cups. <laughs> Oh, Cancer, what a month you are having. This is looking phenomenal. Quite unusual as well, I've got to say, a month before your birthday. Very often, as we approach our birthday season, which is next month for you in June, of course, then what happens is we're finishing off, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, getting rid of anything that needs to be finished off over the last 12 months, ready to hit the ground running for your new year, which is your birthday, all right? So this is May, and already we have this abundant, flowing, prosperous, secure, happy energy coming in. Wow, this is phenomenal. So you're the fourth reading I've done and this is knocking the others out of the park. So Cancer, there is some beautiful energy around you. Now these are energies, not predictions, okay? So it's up to you if you can and want to and are aligned with harnessing that energy. Now for new good stuff to come in and we have got the Ace of Pentacles here with the Nine of Cups twice. So for this new energy to come in, we need to create space. Nothing new can come in when there's no room for it so something needs to go so this is where we're starting with this chop wood card this signifies 
getting rid of what you no longer need yeah and when something's pretty big chop it up into little pieces and then it's easier to deal with and to get rid of so opening up now this might be opening your heart it might be opening up your attitude your thinking your positivity but allow yourself to open up get rid of what might be in the way because this new stuff wants to come in there is a beautiful energy of abundance number eight which is the energy of abundance now for you to be in the energy to receive the abundance you need to believe that you deserve it all right so ask yourself do i deserve to be abundant and prosperous do i really feel i'm in the energy of deserving and deservability because you do deserve and you absolutely have a divine right for abundance so accept plenty and prosperity get in that energy of abundance spirit around you the never alone card they come around you when there is something going on there's good stuff coming on now it's interesting they're just saying to me many of you this is their words not mine many of you when good stuff wants to come towards you feel a little bit frightened um do i deserve it is it okay is it going to stay will i mess it up you know we get those kind of insecurities so this is why they're coming around you to reassure you that you absolutely do deserve and as things open up for you to get into a more stable financial place then allow the angels and your spiritual team and your loved ones in spirit to come around you and help anchor that in, all right? In fact, they're showing me the image of um, a big oak tree with its roots going down. Feel your roots going down into the earth, anchoring. I am ready to receive. So we're starting off the month with this two of wands a new pathway open up coming to a crossroads ready to go on a different direction that white stag there represents spirit wanting to lead you down a different path so the path you're coming to is coming to an end and now it's time to go in a crossroads in a different direction and that different direction is leading you to this happy beautiful wish fulfilled so we have the page of swords underneath it which is communication and information which is what the birds signify here that's sitting on that sword birds are always about talking news information social media so we are reaching out allowing ourselves to mm, feel your footsteps moving forward on this new path because in your foundation underneath here is the hierophant so this is stability and security something lasting commitment i'm committed to my happiness to my dreams to my security i am ready to cut out what i need to to move towards this deeper sense of commitment now that can be committing to your job a business a person yourself your goals your dreams whatever it is this is in the foundation these here pushing you to be able to create this which is what you're wanting the three of ones next to it which is the card of your ships coming in expansion trips travel growth joy threes represent joy as well as that beautiful expansion energy so you're wanting to expand and here we have the ace of pentacles and the central energy here the knight of pentacles so a new beginning wanting to come in now with the knight here in the central energy he is the slowest moving uh, energy in the deck he's slow steady ploddy but he's taking his time because he's building something solid for the future very strong hierophant energy with this card it's like i don't want to just come in and it's a flash in the pan i want it to work and be lasting and something i can build a solid foundation on so this could take several weeks or months building towards this 
but this is a beautiful new energy that's very grounded very secure and you are taking action on it the knight of wands is the action man the action energy of the deck he is fiery and passionate he believes he can achieve and he's got that fire to drive him forward into that passionate new beginning whatever that is for you now that passionate new beginning could be a new love a new relationship or just your own sense of happiness that i will feel so good i mm, don't put it in the future they're telling me i am feeling so good not you know not i will because that's never going to happen i am right now in my passion building on my happiness the knight of cups is an offer can be quite fast um, can be fleeting knight of cups can be an offer that sweeps you off your feet but this is a good offer because underneath it in the foundation is the nine of cups which is a wish fulfilled a dream come true this is something i really want so take a deep breath make a wish what is my wish is it for new love is it for new job is it for a new security there's abundance coming in and abundance isn't just money it isn't just finance. Abundance is an energy. It could be more love, more connections, more friendships, more happiness, more health. It's just a flow of the good stuff around you. This is beautiful for you for May, Cancer. Now, in terms of money and career, look at this. King of Coins, Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Cups again. So what is the wish? Those of you entrepreneurs with your own business, you want your business to be solid and secure and financially secure. Those of you who are, are wanting a promotion, yeah, you, it's my dream to get that promotion. It's my dream to get, what is the dream? Because the dream is wanting to come into reality. You have this abundant energy, this prosperous energy, this secure energy all around you. And it's coming from the heart the queen of cups is the queen of hearts she's loving compassionate warm and these koi carp around us signify abundance as well so you have all of this flow financially and in terms of career and business you are in this energy of a wish come true it's absolutely beautiful so have a look at what needs to go create and open that space be open to receive and know that you are opening here to building a prosperous secure future for yourself cancer well done well done all right my darlings that is what i have for you for may 2022 i hope that helped thank you so much for joining me have a lovely month and i'll see you for the weekly collective messages which tend to go out every friday all right take care lots of love bye bye